I just love this time of year when the Oregon Outdoors invites you to linger a little bit longer and enjoy that warm sunshine. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we visit a small Oregon community that has decided the great outdoors is a perfect place for you to visit and also enjoy something very special. Come on along. We're going to Elkton, Oregon, where they've decided what's good for butterflies is good for you. The traffic on State Highway 38 speeds by at an ear-shattering rate near Elkton, Oregon in Douglas County. But step inside the town's community education center and be amazed. I think that every one of us has a memory of watching a butterfly dance through the sky. And that sense of awe and how still people get when they're having that kind of direct engagement. It's, it's obvious that the butterflies are touching something in every single person. Nature reigns supreme inside the butterfly flight room at the 30 acre education center, where monarch and painted lady butterflies seem to pose or preen, and you are held spellbound watching a monarch come to life. So when they come out, their wings are crinkled and their abdomen is fairly large and their abdomen holds the fluid that they're gonna pump their wings with. And then they hang out and they kinda of just turn and dry themselves. Grace Whitley is a sophomore at Elkton High School. She could tell you much about butterflies. Like 17 other local students, she works at the center following a passion to teach visitors about butterfly life. So they smell with their antennae, they taste with their feet. The flight room is but one stop at this unique Oregon destination that sprawls across a former sheep pasture. And then this is our demo garden. Since 1999, the community has transformed the property into a botanical garden that grows butterfly-friendly plants. This is Joe Pie Weed, and this is called Tall Verbena, and they really like that one too. Two years ago, retired wildlife biologist Barb Slot moved to Elkton after just one visit to the community center. Now she's a regular volunteer, as are scores of other residents. To come and see this resource in a town of 200 people just blew me away. This community is concerned about itself. The people of the community want to see this be a place for families and retirees and, and for businesses to grow and for education centers to be here. And they support it because, you know, this is all volunteer labor. The center also grows much in demand native plants and flowers that act as butterfly hosts the center was recently awarded a grant from the Travel Oregon Forever Fund so they can grow and sell more butterfly plants and offer more classes to more visitors. It's extremely helpful to have a source of funding that says, well, we'll front you the money first while you get your legs under you and then let it be self-sustaining over time. It's a remarkable example built around a simple premise. A small town can do great big things. If you're like me, you'll find the Butterfly Pavilion in Elkton, Oregon very intriguing and inviting. You'll want to spend hours just looking at the abundance of plants they have on hand. And if you're like me, you'll end up taking many of them home for your own butterfly garden. We have all the details, the directions, the contact information so you can plan a visit right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here, explore Oregon's great outdoors, let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.